Hey, how's it going? My name is Rafa, and this is my YouTube Early Bird Picker. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. Um, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that my intro is different than it used to be. Um, I recently just changed the name of my YouTube. My YouTube name was Resale Rafa, and I decided to do a rebranding, and I changed the name of my YouTube to Early Bird Picker. I'm about to get a logo for my channel, maybe make a t-shirt, and I just thought that Early Bird Picker had a really nice ring to it, and kind of like some good imagery that I can use for logos and whatnot. And so, um, I am a reseller, and I pick, ship, uh, thrift, flip, all things uh, related to reselling on this channel. And so I show you what I buy, what I sell, you know, and how much money I hope to make from it. Thanks so much uh, for joining me on my new channel. So I sell on three platforms. I sell on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, where I meet up with people and I ship things to them, and on Amazon. And this uh, episode of Early Bird Picker, I'm gonna show you my sales. I only had one sale today. Um, it is these L.L. Bean um, Alabash or Alagash, can't remember which one it is, boots. They're hard to see through here. There they go. I paid 10 bucks for these and I accepted a best offer for $40 plus shipping on eBay. They're in excellent condition and L.L. Bean is a brand that always sells really well for me. So it's been a little bit of a slower sales week. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but I've sure found some good things thrifting this week. So trying to get my inventory stock back up again. Um, I had a couple sales today and the, the first one was on eBay. It is these Camo Converse. Um, this was not a good buy, I guess. I paid five for these, I'm pretty sure. For some reason, I don't have my sticky note on them. And they sold for $6 plus shipping. I had these in my store for several months. I think I got them like either in the spring or at the beginning of the summer. And I had the price much higher and I just kept lowering it. And finally, I think someone just sent me a best offer for six bucks and I was just ready to get them out of the garage. So I took the six bucks plus shipping on those. Um, this is the best sale of the day. Well, I mean, of the two sales, it's the best sale of the day. This is the shirt that I picked up yesterday. It is the uh, on the liquid blue tag, the Doors uh, vintage t-shirt. There's the um, tag on it, and it's got Jim Morrison on the front. I paid $3 for this at Goodwill yesterday, and it sold on Depop. So I used to just say I sell on three platforms. Now I guess I sell on four platforms. I thought I'd get my hand at Depop. I listed some of my running shoes on Depop and um, this vintage shirt and maybe one other thing, or maybe I'm in the process. I can't remember if I listed that one or not, the jacket. But anyway, um, I, th I guess maybe like vintage clothing or like style wear sells pretty good on Depop. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, anyway, this sold in one day on there, so I'm happy with that. I took a best offer of $45 with free shipping after shipping and fees, I'm gonna come away with like 34 bucks. I paid three, so over a $30 profit on this shirt. Um, really nice, happy about that. I was so excited to find this liquid blue tag on this one, so that's cool. Um, this one's not a sale yet, but I have someone that I'm supposed to meet with Facebook Marketplace, um, just at my local meetup place. He messaged me about this Tulsa Drillers hat. I paid 17 cents for this one. And then he also wanted to bundle it with this Universal Studios vintage hat, and I paid a dollar for this one. And we came to an agreement of 25 bucks for the two hats. And it's always a risk or, you know, just a gamble when you do Facebook Marketplace meetups to see if they'll show up. Um, I hope that this guy does, and I'll let you know uh, if I make that sale. I just had one more sale come through on eBay. It is this Colligan uh, water filter. The box is in pretty beat up condition with some damage and like water damage. But what's good is the filter itself is still sealed in the plastic. Um, and so I took a picture with these side by side where you could see how this one's still sealed. Um, anyway, I paid three bucks for this at a Goodwill and I just sold it for $25 plus shipping. So I just sold those two vintage uh, hats, the Tulsa Drillers, 
and the Hollywood or Universal Hollywood uh, Studios one. It was a really, really good sale. I got my 25 bucks for the two hats and I had a dollar 17 invested in them. So that's a really good flip. Um, what's really cool is the guy said, he wanted to know if I do this all the time or like if I just had stuff I was getting rid of or if I just sell stuff and I just honestly told him I, I sell stuff and I love selling vintage hats and he said he was going to follow me on Facebook and that he had like 20 other th other friends that were looking for the same sort of stuff. So um, that was really cool and so hopefully maybe I might have some future sales with him or his 20 other friends. I had two more sales come through this evening on Facebook Marketplace where I ship stuff. Um, the first is this Stanley Thermos. I paid $2 at an estate sale for this, and it sold for $20 bucks plus shipping. It is a 16 ounce. And next, um, this is a jacket that I just picked up yesterday at Goodwill. The brand is Marmot, M-A-R-M-O-T, a really nice outdoor brand. Um, I paid $9 for it, and it sold on Facebook Marketplace for $32 plus shipping. It is Sunday afternoon, and this is when I get my shipping done uh, from the whole weekend. And so these are all my sales that have come through since Friday. I had 10 sales to show you. Um, six of them are on eBay and four of them on Facebook Marketplace. What's really funny is most of the sales on eBay are shoes, and most of the sales on Facebook Marketplace are jackets. So let me show you what I sold. First up are these Daniel or Samuel Hubbard um, like loafers. They were super nice condition. I had $15 invested into these and I flipped my 15 into 40 plus shipping. Next are these Tevas. These are like a slip on mock type house shoe, I guess. I had $9 invested in these and I flipped my nine into 25 plus shipping. Next up are these New Balance Trail Minimus. Um, I only paid a dollar for these. They weren't very good condition, but I figured somebody might still want them. And I got 10 bucks plus shipping. So one into 10 in my book is still worth uh, the flip. Next are these uh, Nike um, ACG trail shoes. They're vintage. Um, they have some glue issue, like where the upper meets the toe cap. Someone had like tried to re-glue them back together, it looked like. So I put that in a listing. Um, I only paid six bucks for these. I flipped my six into 29 plus shipping. Next are these Nike's Women's Air Force Dunks. Um, I, I just listed these yesterday. I flipped my 13 into 40. Going back to the Nike's, um, something bad is going on with these. I just, when I set them down, I realized that the whole upper, I don't know if you can, probably can't see it through here. Let me take it out of the package. The whole upper is pulling away from the outsole. And that is something that you have to be really careful with, with old shoes that I didn't, that's just something that I totally missed on this shoe is that the glue just sometimes gets old and it doesn't, you know, stay adhered, doesn't keep the shoe together. So that really sucks. What I'm gonna do on this is I'm still gonna ship the shoe to the buyer because if you cancel an order on eBay, um, your account gets dinged for it like you don't have it in stock. And so I'm gonna go ahead and ship this um, item to the buyer and then just send them a full refund and an apology basically saying that I didn't realize till after the sale that the shoe was coming apart. So they'll still get the shoe plus their money back and hopefully they won't leave me bad feedback. And hopefully my account won't get dinged for uh, not having the item in stock. So um, that's definitely something that I should have picked up. I, I knew the problem was here at the toe, but I didn't see it here, um, like right there. You can see inside there, so that sucks. Uh, hopefully they still like the shoe though. Um, kind of when you're buying an older shoe, that is sometimes the risk. So, oh well, on to the next one. This is another thing that I'm shipping out uh, or that I just listed yesterday on eBay. It is a Sony Handycam. I only paid $7 for it and I flipped my seven into $63.50 plus shipping. Um, I already have it packaged up because I wanna know how much it was gonna weigh. 
These um, sell really fast on eBay, especially the more stuff that you have bundled with them. This one, it had a battery with it, but I wasn't sure how long the battery would last. And I didn't want to spend hours like testing the battery. And so I'm not really sure how people do that. So what I did was I just took the battery out and I just sold it as with no battery because I didn't want someone to get the, uh, the handy cam and then say, oh, the battery only works for five or 10 minutes and then try to um, get a return or a refund or, or leave me bad feedback. And so I just decided to go, go around that and just forego the battery altogether. Those are my sales from eBay this weekend. So I said I had four sales on Facebook Marketplace. They're all sales where I'm gonna ship the item to the customer. Let me show you what I sold. This first item is a specialized women's helmet. Um, the model is a Sierra. You can see it has the visor on it and it is in the white and silver colorway. It's in basically light new condition. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. Um, whenever you find these helmets, you want to test the, um, that the headset adjusts right there and make sure that's working. And so this one took a little longer to sell. My, this is actually something my mom found. Um, paid four dollars for this one we flipped the four into 30 plus shipping like i said this one took a little longer to sell because this is specifically a women's model and so it says on here that the head circumference is 50 to 58 centimeters so i've had a lot of luck selling helmets this uh fall and and summer and it, i always just sell the unisex ones that um were the well what is the I think it's usually like 54 to 61 centimeters is what the average fit of these is. But anyway, this one was a little bit smaller because it's a women's, but it did sell. It only took like two or three, maybe just two weeks. I've sold through all my helmets that I've picked up this summer and fall, like I said, and so they're great sellers. The brands you wanna watch out for on helmets are Specialized and Giro, probably some others. I, I, tend, I see a lot of Bell helmets. Those don't seem like they're worth as much, so I stay away from those but these have been fast movers for me. Next is this Peter Millar golf jacket. This is the second brand, uh, one of these, this brand that I've sold and they've sold pretty fast. The other one I think I sold was a puffer vest and it sold really fast. I sold this one, um, for, I flipped my nine into 45 plus shipping. Okay, this is a North Face jacket that I picked up on Friday at Goodwill. I did pay up for it. I paid 25 bucks and it sold lightning fast. I put it on, um, Facebook Marketplace and eBay. What's crazy about Facebook Marketplace is things sometimes just go viral where you get like hundreds of views in just a very short amount of time. And I think this is one of those items because it's orange just really stood out. So by the time it sold on Facebook, I only had one view on eBay of this because I cross post them. So only one person had viewed it on eBay and like either dozens or hundreds had all already viewed it on Facebook Marketplace. I listed it for 65 with free shipping. And so I think it's under a pound. And so I think it might just be like $5 shipping. So basically I'm getting 60 bucks for it. So I flip my 25 into 60. It's one of those things that flips so fast. I thought, man, I didn't ask enough money for this jacket. Um, I think it's probably about a $200 retail jacket. So maybe I could have gotten 75 or 80, I don't know. Um, but I more than doubled my money and I was happy going from 25 to 60. So really happy with that one. Um, and like I said, had it been a different colorway, I probably would have kept this thing. I've had this jacket for several weeks. It is a Pendleton wool lined, um, jacket. I picked this one up also for $25 at Goodwill. When I saw it, I just nearly freaked out because I know that Pendleton wool blankets are a major bolo for resellers. And so when I saw that it was a leather jacket uh, with wool lining, I thought it would be a really fast seller. I had no idea what it was worth. There was only one other sold comp on eBay and it had sold for, it was like a one size smaller jacket, I think, and it had sold for $120, but I thought that sounded kind of low on it. And so what I did was there's a way that you can look up uh, listings and how long something was on eBay. The other listing was only listed for eight hours before it sold, which is not a very long time. So I thought it could get more money. And so what I ended up doing was I put this on eBay originally at an auction and I started the auction at $99.99. I think I had four watchers and no one ended up bidding on it. And so that really kind of surprised me because I thought it was gonna be worth quite a bit of money. And so with, it's you know, it's only the beginning of November right now or when I 
took took it off auction. It was the you know end of October, and so I thought that maybe I'd list it for 150 bucks and just let it sit and see if someone would buy it. And sure enough, on Facebook Market, I listed it on Facebook Marketplace. Also, um, I got somebody that was interested in it today. He didn't even try to send me a best offer. He just paid the full 150 dollars uh, plus shipping on this. So I flipped my 25 into 150, and I'm really happy with that. I thought it could go for more, but in the end, 25 to 150 is awesome. So um, thanks so much for watching uh, this episode of Early Bird Picker. With everything, here's what's, you know, all my items that sold on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Um, comment below with your favorite thing that I sold um, on this video. Thanks again.